so cool and crazy and wild and upside down. I'm bored and that's not fun. I wanna get away, but I'm too tired to run. I'm gonna find a place where there are no rules and the world is wild. I have the tools to make things happen and the reaction will explode. stories tall. <laughs> whoa, 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 hold up. What's with the umbrellas? It's science day in Mrs. Jewel's class. Hey, you're the new kid! <laughs> Enough of the fun! Heads up! Heads up? <laughs> what are you, nuts? Don't you know it's science day in Mrs. Jewel's class? You could have gotten crushed. Ow! Why'd you do that? Get an umbrella. Oh, oh, I forgot again! Mrs. Jules is gonna be so mad! Hey, I'm going to Mrs. Jules' class. What'd you forget? The, uh, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, no, I forgot! Dude, what you doing coming through the window? Well, that's what everyone else did. They did? Oh. Thanks for telling me. Name's Lewis. I'm in charge of recess. Oh, and the gym. Oh, and the cows. Cows? And I kind of help out, like, all over the school. Okay. Well, I'm Todd. Did you just move around here? No, I, I just transferred here from another school. It's kind of a long story. Dude, dude. Hey, I'm, I'm heading to the 30th floor. Can you show me the elevators? Elevators? <laughs> no elevators. Who builds a 30-story school without elevators? Well, this school was supposed to be one story high. One floor with 30 classrooms all in a row. But the builder man, he goofed. Instead, he built it like 30 stories high with one classroom on each floor. He said he was sorry. Not bad for the second floor. Do you mind? Sorry. Does anyone know the answer? Oh. 
<laughs> no, that's not the answer. Anyone else? Oh! <laughs> Attention, students. Attention. This is Principal Kid Swatter speaking. I'd like us all to welcome a new student to Wayside. His name is 344 South Fairview. Welcome, 344. Thank you. That's the dude's address. That's his address? His name is Todd? Whatever. Like we need any more of these snot-nosed brats around here. Especially with his record. Did you see what he did at his last school? What? Don't tell me to be quiet. You be quiet. What's on? You mean they're hearing what I'm saying right this second? Well, how do I shut it off? Stupid Mike! Stupid Mike! <coughs> Mr. Kidswater! No, Mike. man! Are you gonna... Microphone? <clears throat> Attention, students. Attention. My Mikey. <laughs> Make her work, Louis. Um, I'm no electrical kind of guy, Mr. K. I take care of the schoolyard and the gym and the cows. I can't fix you, PA. I can't. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, Mr. K, chill, okay? I'll check the fuse box in the hall. Okay? Nice work. Great job. Très magnifique. Shh, don't wake Shui. Nice job, Jenny. Thank you, Stephen, but it is not Halloween yet. It's not? Thank you, John. What hard work you've all done. It was a challenging assignment, children, but you showed excellent floating abilities, a swell landing, and above all, great hang time. An A-plus for everyone! Yeah! Yeah! Come in! Oh, look, it's a monkey! That's not a monkey, Mrs. Jules. That's the new kid. <laughs> My name's Todd. I think I'm, I'm in this class. Oh, he's so cute! Look at all that little monkey hair he has! <laughs> Marisha loves his hair. Do not! Ow! Marisha, please stop punching the monkey. I don't punch monkeys. That's true. Well, then you must be the new student. We're so happy to have you here, Todd. Class, let's all welcome him in our own special way. Hey, Todd! Hello, hello, hello! hello. 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 Ah! You're hot! We heard about you on the PA, Todd. What happened at your last school? Did you get in trouble? What kind? Oh, it, it was, uh, nothing. Did you kill a man? No. Did you blow up the school? Not even close. Did you run for class president? Nah, those guys never do anything anyway. So you'll vote for me then? I'm perfect for the job! Did you break any rules at your old school? Because we have rules here too, but you'll need to know what they are before you break them. That's why I put together this welcome binder for you. It's color-coded! Lavender for maps, salmon for schedules, and of course, chartreuse for rules. On the goldenrod sheets, you'll find brief bios of all students and faculty, as well as my home number, cell number, and email for handy reference. Thanks, but I didn't break any rules at my last school. Did you stand on Did your you head? Did you do any library books? Vote for me! Yes! Hey, you got a girlfriend? Class, please.
please. I'm sure Todd will tell us all about his sad and tragic past someday. Actually, it's not that sad or tragic. I just made a, you know, a mistake. Well, Todd, whatever it is you did, I'm afraid we all like you better when you were a monkey. Now, please take your seat. I see you haven't taken your seat yet. I'm sorry, Mrs. Jules. I thought that was my seat. I'm a little confused. Oh, that's perfectly understandable, Todd. I'm confused sometimes, too. But in my classroom, everyone has to follow directions. Even me. So, I'm afraid I'll have to put your name on the discipline list. But Mrs. Jules, you just threw my desk out the window. Yes, Todd, it's science day. What else am I supposed to do with it? Now, no talking. Any other questions? Yes, I do have uh, a... Uh, uh. I think I hear talking, Todd. Were you following directions? But I do have a... No talking. Oh, it makes me sad to do this, Todd. But as your teacher, I must warn you, one more outburst, I will have to circle your name, and you will be sent home at noon on the kindergarten bus. <laughs> the kindergarten bus? We're filled with kindergarten kids? Yes, of course. I think that's where they put them. I can't go. The screaming, the crying. Well then, no talking. Uh, attention, is this thing working again? Hey, it's working. Now, if only I had something to say. What was I saying? Oh, who cares? <laughs> Carry on, students. Good night. Mrs. Jules! Mrs. Jules! Todd, I warned you about these outbursts. The walls, they moved. Didn't anyone else see that? Uh-uh. No. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you are going to have to go home early on the kindergarten bus. The bus? Yeah! I have gum in my hair. Want to see me throw up? No, thank you. And so that is the dangling participant. Yeah, yeah, come in. What do you want? Nothing much. You? Oh, the job of a future class president is never done. So much to do, so little time. I carry the weight of Wayside World on my woeful shoulders. Wow. I hope that world weighs less than this desk. Uh, a little help here? Of course. Every great leader is but a humble public servant. Dana? I'm his campaign manager. It's my job! <laughs> Enough of the fun! Okay. Thanks, Dana. No problem! Hey, the class selection is starting any minute. Can I count on your vote, new kid? Uh, Todd. Okay, Todd. When I'm class president, I'm really gonna fix things around here. 
You'll see. Oh, please. The only thing the class president is supposed to do is turn the classroom lights on and off. And remember what happened last time Myron was president? Why are you all sitting in the dark? Because someone forgot to turn on the lights. Who? Oh, forgetful fiddlesticks! We sat in the dark for an hour. They made him resign that day. Oh, no. I'll prove them wrong, Marisha. I'll win today's election for class president. And I promise to never again forget, um... To turn on the lights. To turn on the lights, yes. Now, to class, Dana. Hey, what about my... desk? I'll help you, Todd. You're not gonna hit me, are you? Hit you? Why would I do that? I offer to help, and all you can do is criticize me? This relationship is all about you! 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 Relationship? Forget about it, Todd! It's over! <sighs> That's a relief. Don't worry, Todd. I forgive you. <laughs> Uh. Aha! You hungry? You eat! No, sorry, I can't be late for the election in Mrs. Jewel's class. Mrs. Jewel's class? You in the right place. She under sink! Look! Mrs. Jewel's classroom. Is that a dead rat in your kitchen? No, no, no. That a dead rat in Mrs. Jewel's classroom. Wow. His name is Sammy. My name, Miss Mush. I run cafeteria. I slave over a hot sink and wash dishes on food stove. That's cool. My name's Todd. I just transferred here. You here for good food, no? Other schools, they have no Miss Mush. No, they don't. But that's that's not why I'm here. See, at my old school, this thing happened, and... Wait, well, it's actually a long story. Oh, <gasps> Sammy loves stories! Don't you, Sammy? He no care. He too dead. Eat food! I just cook my mushroom surprise! You try, okay? It's Sammy's favorite meal. No worry, it stopped wiggling in second or two. Today, we'll be studying the Western Hemisphere. Make that the Eastern Hemisphere. Pull, little dudes! Pull! Wait! I baked liver puffs for dessert! You try, yes? Oh, look at the time. I gotta go. Don't want to miss the election. <laughs> It's the election. What took you so long? Stairs. Endless. Oh, Todd. So glad you could make it. By the way, can I borrow that desk from... Oh, thank you. Excellent work, Todd. Please take your seat. Is it still science day? No, honey. It's election day. Oh, which reminds me, I gotta finish counting these votes, huh? Mrs. Jules, that's a trash can. And? Where would you have us throw our ballots, Todd? Out the window? <laughs> <laughs> I'll sit down now. Okay, oh, one for John, one for Leslie, one for DJ, 
One for Fruity Pop? Mrs. Jules, that's not a vote. That's a candy wrapper someone threw in the garbage can. I mean, the ballot bucket. Really? You're right. Oh, here's a vote for Dear Todd. I think you are so cute. Oh, and there's a bunch of little hearts drawn on it. <laughs> That's not a vote either. It sounds like a secret love note. Oh, my. Love is oh so wonderful, students. Secret love is even more so oh so wonderful. Okay, now who does this belong to? <laughs> I don't mean to embarrass you, Todd, but I think this is yours. Me? Technically, it belongs to the trash can. Ballot bucket! Whatever. Can't we just forget all about this secret love stuff and do some schoolwork? Schoolwork? That's a terrible idea, Todd. Your name is going on the discipline list. Mrs. Jules! Mrs. Jules! The election! It's a 31-way tie, including the candy wrapper and the love note. What? You mean I didn't win? How could this happen? Did everyone just vote for themselves? Yes, yes Mrs. Mrs. Jules! Dinah! You didn't vote for me? But you're my campaign manager! I didn't want to be left out. You wouldn't want me to be the only one not to get a single vote. Yes! Yes, I would! I didn't vote for myself, Mrs. Jules. In fact, you didn't vote at all, did you, Todd? And voting is every citizen's duty, which is why I have to put a check next to your name. Ugh. The point of an election is not for everyone to vote for themselves. The point is for everyone to vote for the best candidate. Oh, oh now, now you tell, you tell us. us. I'm, so, I'm sorry, you're right. I guess I should have explained that before, huh? Cuckoo. Shall we try again tomorrow? Tomorrow? You, you mean I have to wait until tomorrow to win? I, I can't. It, 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 it's too stressful. I feel faint. I'm, I'm gonna faint. Okay, I'm fainting. Did I faint? Oh dear, I think Myron might need some medical attention, huh? I'll take him to the school nurse, Mrs. Jules. Well, thank you, Dana. That is so thoughtful of you. <sighs> now, if only we had a school nurse. Down! You cook! Make stew! Hi, Miss Mush. It says in the handbook, Golden Rod Section, page 137, paragraph 2, the school nurse is in room 1501. This 1501? But no nurse here. Just me. And him! <laughs> he no nurse! He lunch! Yes! 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 What's the matter, him? He no look good. He almost fainted when he didn't win the election today. Ah, he not sick. He silly weakling. That's not fair, Miss Mush. Haven't you ever wanted something so bad it made you sick not to get it? Yes! I want stupid Pubinsky off of my arm! Well, then you know how Myron feels. What? Slimy Vasaki cups? <laughs> Think you can hang in there until tomorrow's election? Must be president. Someone please show me a sign from above. Attention. Attention, students. I want to talk to you today about doors. There are very many doors in this building, and I hate them all. It's a dumb word, door. You may no longer say that word. You know what word I mean? Just don't say it! Instead, I have made up a new word for you. Goozak. Open the goozak. Shut the goozak. Lock the goozak. Get the dryer coming from the goozak. And so on. This has been your principal speaking. Good night. Mrs. Jules, the walls, they did it again. Did what, Todd? Look, I made these marks on the floor to measure how far the walls move. At the current rate, we could be crushed in a matter of minutes. I see what you're talking about. You do? You finally understand? Uh-huh. You drew on the classroom floor. Oh. I really don't want to do this, Todd, but... Please don't circle my name, Mrs. Jules, I beg you. I can't go back on that kindergarten bus, I can't. 
Please! We're all doomed! Even Mr. Wetnose? I'm afraid so. <laughs> no, 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 don't cry. I, I can't take the crying. Good job. Now, would anyone else like to give a campaign speech? Oh, yeah. oh, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. Is everyone running for president? This is your principal speaking. Being the single most powerful, important sounding person at Wayside is not enough for me. I also need to be president, Mrs. Jules Glenn. That's why I'm announcing my candidacy. For today's election. Psst, Dana, you've got to help me stop these walls. Shh. Not now, Todd. The principal's on the PA. Yeah, but the principal's always on the PA when the walls are moving. So, vote for me, or else. Thank you, and good night. Were you saying something, Todd? Yes, I was saying something. Help, we're doomed! Never fear, Todd. I won't let the principal become president. I'll win this election! Yay! I'm not talking about the election, I'm talking about the walls. Are they running too? No! They're sliding and grinding and trying to crush us! I didn't come to this school just so I could get smushed. Why did you come to this school? Well, I'd, well, I'd, I'd rather not talk about that. Good. Just as long as you didn't come here to run for class president. If anyone else enters this race, it'll be a complete disaster. I want to run for class president too! No! Yes! Have cupcakes! Okay. You vote me, no? Well, it seems our election has gotten quite out of control, hasn't it, children? Mrs. Jules, the school rule book contains some very specific rules about out of control elections. Oh, good. Now, who has a copy of the school rule book? Todd? What? The rule book. Page 71 of the chartreuse pages in your welcome binder. Oh, well, let's see. Uh, watch for cows, don't eat the mushroom surprise. Wish I'd read that earlier. Oh, here it is. All out of control elections must be settled by an impartial and democratic game of dodgeball? Okay, candidate dudes, the rules of this out of control election are way simple. Instead of voting, we're gonna throw this ball at each other. Whoever is left becomes class president. And that's the coolest. Oh! You're out! You're not class president! <laughs> Mr. K, I'm not running for president. I'm like the referee. And your point is? <laughs> okay. The polls are now open! <laughs> Principal Kidswater, I have to talk to you about the 30th floor. It's incredibly urgent. Not now, 344 South Fairview. I'm in the middle of a campaign. But you've got to know this. The walls on the 30th floor move every time you speak on the PA. Yes, I have that effect on walls. It's called... Charisma. What? Why won't you listen to me? Oh, I'll listen. You stand right there, very still, and tell Mr. K all about it. Finally! It all started. Wow! Gotcha, 344! You're not class president! <laughs> Rule 
Those are rules, Mr. K. You're not class president. Oh, why, oh, why did it have to be dodgeball? It should have been figure skating. Could have won that easily. Those cheating brats. <laughs> No one panic! Page 74A of the Chartreuse pages in the rule book tells us what to do in this kind of dire situation. Todd? Your welcome binder? What course of official action shall we take? Get another ball. Yeah! Oh, goody, goody, goody! Yeah! Woo! Another crisis averted. Glad you're here, Toddster. You are? Sure. I heard how you fed the cow. <laughs> and fixed the short room. I can't believe they kicked you out of your old school. Who told you that? Kid Swatter. He wants me to keep an eye on troublemakers and stuff. I am not a troublemaker. And I wasn't kicked out. I just left, really. I just made a mistake. Here's what happened. I used to go to a plain old one-story school. And I've always been the kind of guy who likes to help out. Then one day, I saw the kindergarten class needed some help. Sound. That horrible sound. The kids never got over that. And to be honest, neither did I. Oh, man. Bummer. I should have just minded my own business. After that, well, I figured I'd transfer here and start all over again. Clean slate. What could go wrong? Hey, man, this is Wayside. Lots of things go wrong here. Check out the whacked out blueprints of this place. Blueprints? What blueprints? The ones that come in your welcome binder. Everyone gets them, dude. Anyway, like I was saying... <whistles> no sleeping on the field, Cherie! Blueprints. <laughs> I've got to go write your victory speech. That's right! I'm finally gonna be president! It is my destiny! Victory shall be! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh! <laughs> the ball! Where'd that come from? Congratulations! You are our new class president! Me? But what about what about Myron? He should be class president, not me! Sorry, you caught the ball. And Myron, you are not class president. <laughs> well, class, that certainly was an action-packed election. Mrs. Jules, I was just reading these blueprints and I... Todd. No reading blueprints? But Mrs. Jules, the... I am sorry, Todd, but we do not teach blueprint reading here. We teach math, we teach history, we teach the... What you call it? The, uh, oh, the thingamajiggy... Public speaking? Yes, that! But look at what it says right next to our classroom. That's where the builder signed his name. Oh, yes, that must be what it is. T.R. Ash Contractor. A contractor is another name for a builder. It doesn't say T.R. Ash Contractor. It says Trash Compactor. Don't you see? 
That's why the walls are moving. We're in a giant trash compactor. <sighs> oh, Todd, come on. Mr. Ash would never put a trash compactor on the 30th floor. He would put it where it belongs, in the gym. No, the kitchen. Exactly, the kitchen. Yes, but that's where he put Mrs. Jewel's class. <laughs> understand why Mrs. Jewels have class here. It's such perfect spot for garbage scruncher. Right, Sammy? <laughs> <laughs> Todd, now you're just being silly. No, not the kindergarten bus again. Yes, dear, I'm afraid so. In that fuse box. No way, Jose. I did everything I could to keep that thing shut. But I've been studying those blueprints you told me about. And check out the trash compactor. It's on the 30th floor. It's on the 30th floor? But that's Mrs. Jules' class! And now every time Principal Kidswater gets on the PA, the walls start to close in. I think the compactor wires and the PA wires might have gotten crossed here, at this fuse box. Uh-oh. I'm not really a wiring kind of guy, and I was in a hurry. And, well, maybe I guess I sort of kind of plugged a few wires. Oh, man. <laughs> it's stuck. Not to worry, though. So long as no one uses the PA, Mrs. Jewel's class will remain totally and completely uncrushed. But what about Mr. Kidswater? Mr. K is gonna be busy for a while. I'll just get some tools to open this box and then we can- Attention, students in Mrs. Jewel's class. Attention! Myron? Myron? By addressing you in this important sounding way. Hey, hey, would you cut it out? Marisha, who are you talking to? Stupid wall, it's poking me. Ah, no talking to the walls, Marisha. You want your name on the board with Todd's? <sighs> Wait a minute. The walls really are moving. <laughs> Myron, let us in right now. Doster, he can't hear us in there. Come on, we've got to get everyone out of Mrs. Jewel's class. We'll never make it in time! Yes, we will. The door is locked! Well, how'd that happen? This classroom doesn't lock from the inside. But this is a classroom! It's a trash compactor, remember? Cramp. Ow. Uh, it's locked. We've got to stop the walls from moving. Got to be some kind of emergency shutoff. Emergency shutoff should be right here. <laughs> we just have to flip the switch. This is all my fault. I'm the worst president ever. Now we're all going to be squished. We're gonna be squashed. Squished isn't a word, dear. Enough with the tears. Everything will be okay, Dana. Here, have a cupcake. <laughs> Thanks. Eeny, meeny, miny. Oh, one of these has to work. <laughs> <laughs> it's always so peaceful here in the faculty lab. That's not it either. Oh, 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 oh! 
This has got to be it. I overheard you talking to Lewis before, and just think, if you hadn't gotten kicked out of your last school for failing to help those kindergarten kids, you'd never be able to come here and fail to help us. Oh, wait a minute, that didn't sound very good. Forget what I just said, Todd. We're all just gonna panic. Ah! Maybe I can't help them. Gosh darn it, I gotta try. Come on, emergency shut off. Where are you? Fire! Lewis? What are you doing here? I don't know, but you gotta try that, dude. Oh, no time now. I'm making presidential announcements. No, 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 no. No more announcements. You've got to get off that PA. But I was sounding so important. Listen up, Myron. There's a time in every leader's life when he has to stop sounding important and start being important. They need you in Mrs. Jewel's class. Ah, yes! I can see it now! History is calling me! Come, Lewis! Oh, there you are, Mikey. Nothing like a figure eight followed by a long-winded announcement. <clears throat> attention, students, attention. Kids water! As I was saying, this is your principal speaking. I have a very special announcement to make. Porcupine is bulking me! And Cherie's snoring in my ear. Oh, now, now, children. This is the time for cooperation, not complaints. <gasps> Aha! You look hungry. What? My class is in there getting crushed. How can you talk about food now? I hear yelling, I bring food. That's my job. Mushroom surprise! No, no, Miss Mush, I, I don't. Vernon Blob, coming through! On second thought, Miss Mush, I will have some mushroom surprise. I give you Jumbo Cup! Jumbo Cup? I want the whole thing! Go! Oh. No one ever ate whole thing since Boo Hoo Sammy! You take, I make more! <laughs> Todd! I don't think we're going to make it! I can't hear anything, Marisha! This stuff is too hot! <gasps> Did you hear that, Fluffy? He thinks I'm hot. I can see it now! Marisha and Todd, Todd and Marisha, rollerblading together, hand in hand at the beach. I'll bring my boxing gloves. Oh, Todd, are you sure? Careful, Marisha, this whole thing could explode on us. Just let it, Todd, let it explode. It's gonna be big. It will be big. Love is big. Love is gigantic. Love is all around us. Can you feel it? Todd, it's like I said in the note I wrote to you before. Major Door, coming through! You mean Major Guzak. No pushing, please! Yay! We're not gonna be squished! Squa 
gosh, dear. <laughs> Enough with the fun. <gasps> Where's Marisha? Don't worry, Fluffy. Mommy's here. <laughs> Remain calm. Your hero is here. Go in there and rescue Marisha and Fluffy. You've got to be kidding. I'll go. Jump down! It's too far! I'm afraid! I'll catch you! You will? Why? Well, I, I think so. Oh, Todd. That was so sweet, Todd. Oh, no. Help. We're stuck. Life's not a spectator sport. Life's a contact sport. Like checkers of tic tac toe. Nice sitting with three down left. On the center square of the end zone of the ice show. That's what I'm talking about. Attention, students. Attention. Hey, Mikey! Myron, you found the emergency shutoff switch. I did? Yes, the light switch. The what witch? Oh, yes, of course. The, um, thing on the wall that, that the class president flicks. I flicked it. Myron, you did it. Nothing can stop you now. I'm resigning as class president and appointing you my successor. Congratulations, Myron. Yay! For real? You mean, I'm class president? Woohoo! I did it! Want to see me flick it again? No! Yes! Lewis? Lewis! My mic key's not working. Stupid goozer! And so, Todd, to thank you for rescuing us and to officially welcome you to Wayside, we have a little gift for you. Myron? Is that desk for me? Yes. And you're not going to throw it out the window? Oh, no. That was when we were studying gravity. You tossed my desk out the window just to see how fast it would fall? Why, of course, dear. It was science day. We take our education very seriously here. Next week, it's volcano! Thanks. All I've ever wanted to do here is fit in and, you know, make things better for everyone. Oh, how wonderful, Todd. Now, is there anything else in the class you think needs fixing? Nope, wouldn't change a thing. Yeah.